IT Services is adding an extra layer of protection against the scourge of ransomware attacks and hackers. Because of this, we are implementing multi-factor authentication. And today, I'm going to show you what we think is the easiest way to protect all St. Mary's College users, and that's using the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone as a second verification when logging into an SMC app. By adding multi-factor authentication to your account on top of your regular password, you're adding an extra layer of security to make sure that the person who's trying to log into your account is really you. So let's jump into this. You will need your phone and your desktop computer running at the same time. On your desktop computer, type in this link. The link takes you to the Microsoft authentication page and you enter your email address for St. Mary's. I have a personal Microsoft account, so I make sure to choose work account. And then enter your password and click yes to stay signed in. The more information is required screen will start the MFA setup process. Click next. Here's where we use our Microsoft Authenticator app. Do not click next here until you have downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator app onto your phone. We will come back to this screen after we start the app on the phone. Let's now search and download the app. Navigate to the App Store on your iPhone or Google Play on your Android device to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. Search for and download Microsoft Authenticator app. Look for the icon featuring a person inside a lock as shown. Open the Microsoft Authenticator app and click Accept on the privacy screen. At this point, for Android users, you may experience this pop-up. Click Allow. Note to iPhone users, you will also see this pop-up later on in the setup and you'll choose to allow as well. Allowing notifications is key to using the Authenticator app. You could choose whether or not to share your app usage data with Microsoft Click continue. Now stop here with your phone because we are now going to do a dance with our computer. So leave this open on your phone and go back to your computer screen. For Android users, you will see a similar screen. Return to the desktop and click the next button. Click next. On your desktop screen, you should see a QR code. Do not click next. Now go back to your phone and click the scan a QR code button in the Authenticator app. Click allow on the pop-up for the Authenticator would like to access the camera. This is required to scan the QR code. Also allow the pop-up to turn on notifications. Scan the QR code by holding your phone up to the desktop computer screen and capture the QR code. Confirm your SMC account is appearing in the app. Go back to the computer screen and click Next. A number will appear on your computer screen. Remember this number and place it into the Authenticator app on your phone. Click Yes after entering the number. Go back to the desktop and click Next. Then click Done. And you have successfully set up Microsoft Authenticator. So whenever you log into My St. Mary's, Always have your phone nearby because when you log into your SMC apps, a number is going to pop up on your desktop screen. At the same time, your phone should display a notification from the Microsoft Authenticator app with a message asking if you're trying to log in. Simply click on the notification to open the Microsoft Authenticator app and enter the number you see on your desktop screen. If your phone does not automatically notify you, you will have to go to your phone and open the app manually and then enter the number from your desktop. If you run into any difficulties setting up your multi-factor authentication, please visit us at the IT Service Desk or contact us via email or phone.